Hi, this is Denise Matthew and this is an energy update, which is information about human design transits that can help guide you through a shifting landscape. This energy is in play from September 10th to September 15th, 2022. And a very happy birthday to anybody who has their personality sun in the gate 47. I hope you have an amazing year ahead. So after almost a week of all the head gates being defined, now we're moving into energy that is going to potentially give us the clarity from the confusion that the gate 64 might have brought. The sun is in the gate 47 and the earth is in the gate 22. The gate 47 is the other side or the harmonic of the gate 64 and the full channel is the 6447. Where the gate 64 that the sun just transited might have given us downloads and maybe even potential connections with super consciousness, the gate 47 will try to make sense of the information or to bring clarity and awareness because the gate 47 is part of the Ajna which is an awareness center. We know that there are no patterns or even logic in abstract energy, so there's nothing that can be proven about the downloads that we have, and the awareness that does come does so in cycles. This can be described as a feeling that many of us have when you're talking and you suddenly can't recall a word that you want to use, and you feel a pressure to know what that word is, but you can't quite remember. And finally, when you do remember it, there can be a sense of relief and also release. Another thing to keep in mind is that this is just the beginning of the process. Eventually, this realization can become an idea in the gate 11, and later it can be expressed through the gate 56, which is a throat gate. Abstract energy is always about making sense about what it means to be human, which isn't an easy feat, but definitely it's something that is worthwhile for us to ponder. And the contemplations and pondering begin with the 64 and then move to the 47. If we move to the gate 22, This is about grace or not, or what we might call grace under fire, where our resilience can be tested by life. This can speak about the suffering that humans experience in life, but it can also talk about the human spirit that can move through life despite the obstacles that we meet. This energy is very acoustic and as with all individual energy can bring melancholy. So music or even a podcast that inspires you might help you move through the blues so the energy flows instead of getting stuck. This is also where spirit awareness is contained and where mutation comes in waves, but also, as mentioned, where many times you find your grace within the struggles of your life. And the awareness that you gain can eventually be shared with others if you decide to. This energy connects to the right ear and is creative, emotional energy that is half of the 1222 channel. So we can have moods that shift from joy to melancholy as well as individual melancholy. This energy encourages you to honor your moods and to socialize when it feels right for you. And if you wait until it feels good, you can be charming and you can work a room even, or not if you don't feel like it. The grace and charm here is less about bonding and more about expressing yourself where the end game is to get your mutation out into the collective. When you're in the right frame of mind and especially in the mood for openness, people can be naturally drawn to you. There's also potential for you to have musical talent with this energy, especially with the 1222 channel. Neptune spent a lot of time in the gate 22 over the past few years, mutating and dissolving. So every time a planet transits that gate, we have an opportunity to see what Neptune has changed for the collective. If we look at how this energy can express globally, we can see it as a combined theme of the gate 22 grace with the gate 47 oppression. These melded energies talk about how we look through the lenses of our lives and whether we see the cup as half full or half empty. It's about whether we feel oppressed by the difficult parts of life or whether we have the strength and resilience to move through tough parts of life with grace. We may see both expressions of this energy play out through this transit, both globally and personally. And if you honor how you feel in the moment, this is a wonderful time to socialize when it feels good and to really get your mutation or the message that you want to deliver across to the collective. That's it for the energy update. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want even more information about the daily transits, please check out my community page where I do a daily post that talks about all the transits that are in play. Until next time, take care and I'll see you again soon.